my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Lizelle and today's video is one that I'm super excited about because I'm actually going to be doing my first ever one brand makeup tutorial. So as you would have seen by the title, today's tutorial is going to be done using only Wet n Wild products. And let me tell you guys, you wanna watch the whole video because I was super impressed with everything that I use. Like I'm actually so excited and I need to know like why is Wet n Wild not available here in Australia because we need you to come over here. I honestly feel like us Australians are missing out because these products have totally blown me away. So if you guys do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel and you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a video I post. And with that being said, if you guys are keen to see how I did this look, then just keep watching. For today's tutorial, I am starting off with my face. So first of all, I'm going to be priming using the Wet n Wild Coverall Primer. I'm pretty sure you guys would have seen this coming, but I will be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I actually just did a first impressions on this foundation yesterday, so it's probably gonna be up before this tutorial, so I will leave a link to it somewhere down below or on the screen, but I'm obsessed with this foundation. I'm so glad I discovered it and the fact that it's only six bucks, I was like, what? Are you kidding me? So I'm just gonna take some of that and just, you know, put on my face. It does have a little bit of a strong smell, so if you guys aren't into or you just don't really deal well with foundations that have a strong scent, this may not be good for you, but if you can deal with scents, then totally check this out because it's only six bucks. I also really like to use a beauty blender to apply it because I feel like it gives it a really nice finish. Next up, I'm just going to conceal. So I'll be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. The shade that I have is light medium and I thought this was gonna be too light for me, but in reality, I actually don't mind it. So I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes in a sort of triangle motion down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and also on my chin. And to blend that out, I'm just using a dampened beauty blender. I'm gonna go ahead and set that foundation in place. I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. And then to set my under eye area as well as brighten it up a little, I'm gonna be taking their contouring palette. And what I'm gonna do is take some of this yellow shade and use that to set the concealer in place. And this is not only going to set it, but it's also going to brighten it up. Alrighty, so now that all of that base is set in place, I'm gonna go ahead and contour it. Again, I'll be using their contouring palette, but of course I'm gonna be taking that brown contour shade. And I'm just gonna go ahead and contour my face. So I'll be contouring my jawline, my cheekbones, and also my nose. For those of you who are wondering which brush I'm using to contour my nose, this is the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer. It's not actually supposed to be used like to contour your nose, but I find that it works really well. Next up, I'm gonna go in with bronzer. So I'll be using the Color Icon Bronzer in Ticket to Brazil. I'm pretty much just gonna sweep this over my cheeks and around my hairline. This bronzer actually has like a little bit of a sheen to it, which I'm not mad about. Like it gives it a different type of finish than what I'm used to. Like it definitely has that glow to it, if you get what I mean. For blush, I'm just gonna be using the Color Icon Blush in the shade Rosé Champagne. It's pretty much just like a peachy, orangey toned blush with a lot of shimmer throughout it. So we'll see how this looks on the cheeks. I probably should have gotten a blush that has like a little more like pinky color to it so you could see it show up more, but I'm actually really liking how this looks. So I'm just applying that to the apple of my cheeks and bringing it back towards the hairline. I really like how it looks. Like I feel like it's really soft and subtle and I'll definitely pick up more shades. It also gives that glow, which kind of makes you look like you have highlighter on, but we'll get to highlighter later. So what I'm gonna do next is, since I'm done with the face pretty much, what I'm gonna do is move on to the eyes. Taking whatever concealer is left on the, the um, beauty blender that I used earlier, and that's pretty much just going to act as my base because I don't have any specific Wet n Wild eye primer. And then I'm just setting that in place with a little bit of the um, yellow toned 
highlight powder. So moving on to the eyes, I picked out a palette that I could use to create this entire eye look. So I have here the Wet n Wild Eau Naturelle Nude Awakening palette. And as you can see, it has these really beautiful reddish rose gold kind of tones going on, which I'm really liking. So what I'm going to do is I'll be taking the Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush and I'm going to go in with this shade right here and lay that down in my crease. I'm just going to be running this back and forth through the crease and this is going to be my initial transition shade. This is actually my first time using this palette. Like I have I have swatched it, but I haven't actually put it on until this video and I'm really surprised at how well the shadows do apply. Like typically I have really low expectations when it comes to drugstore eyeshadows, but this one's doing a pretty good job so far. Alrighty, so I've got my main crease shade down. What I'm gonna do now is I think I'm gonna be taking this matte burgundy shade right here and I'm gonna be applying that to the outer V, like the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm just gonna be applying this in a slight V shape. So it really shapes that outer corner of my eyes. I'm also just going to go back in and blend out that top edge of the outer corner just so it doesn't look so harsh. So now that that's all blended, I'm going to go in with my lid shade. So I'll be taking this shade right here. It's this really beautiful rose tone, kind of pink, rose gold type of shade. I'm just going to go ahead and pack that onto my brush. I'm using the Zoeva 232 Lux Classic Shader. And I'm pretty much just going to pack that onto the lid. I actually found when I tapped off the excess, a lot of the shadow actually came off like there wasn't much that transferred onto the lid so what i've done is i've taken a little more product and i'm just going to quickly take a little spritz of some mac fix plus and that's just going to help me yep see that really does intensify the shadow so i'm just packing this onto the lid kind of blending it into that outer v shade and i'm applying it up into that crease shade that i laid down I'm just going to go ahead and blend that crease again, just to kind of blend the lid shade in with the crease a little better. And I've also decided that I'm kind of feeling a little more bold and dramatic today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go straight into this black shade right here and I'm going to darken up that outer corner a little more. I'm just using a fluffy blending brush because I didn't want it to be too precise. I kind of wanted it to be a little more smoky. I did not expect that black to be so black. Like I'm actually really impressed right now. I've decided that I kind of want to blend the lid shade and that black into each other a little better. So I'm going to be taking this shade from the palette right here and kind of putting that in between the outer corner and the lid shade. So then it kind of gives you that gradient effect of being from that rose gold pink shade all the way to the black. For the bottom lash line, I'm just gonna be taking that first shade that I used for my crease. I'm going to be running that along there. And then I think I want to take this maroon shade, the matte burgundy shade, and run that closer to my lash line. I'm going to be taking this shimmery shade right here and I'm going to be using that as my brow bone and inner corner highlight. Next up, I'm just going to waterline and tightline my eyes. So I'm using the Color Icon Coal Liner in Baby's Got Black. I'm just going to go back in with the brush that I used to apply uh, the maroon shade to my bottom lash line. And I'm kind of going to use this just to work in that black liner and kind of smudge it out a little. Alrighty, so next up I'm going to give myself a wing. I'm using the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Liner. I'm also going to make it fairly thick because I do want this to be somewhat of a dramatic look. So I have here the Wet n Wild Mega Volume Mascara. I don't really know if this is anything good, but it had the best reviews on their website, so that's why I picked it up. So I'm just going to go a little heavier on the bottom lashes and then a little more lighter on the top because I am going to be applying falsies. 
Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure Wet n Wild doesn't do false lashes, so I didn't have any to put on, so I'm just wearing my good old Coco lashes in the style Queen Bee. I'm going to be moving on to my favorite part of makeup application, which is highlighting the face. So I have here the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Like, let's just take a Oh, I just shoved my finger and never like I didn't break it. So I'm just going to be applying this pretty much all over my face. This is actually my first time using this, so I'm pretty excited to see how it looks on my skin. Ooh, I really like it. Oh, that's so pretty. Holy crap. Wow, that's amazing, guys. Like, <gasps> just the more that I pack on, the more beautiful it looks. Damn. For a drugstore highlighter, I was not expecting it to be this pigmented. Like, I'm really surprised. Damn, that's actually beautiful. I really like this highlighter. And I can totally see myself using this every single day. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some on my nose and also on my cupid's bow. I just can't stop with it, guys. Like, it's so pretty. Oh my god all that's left to do now is apply some type of lipstick so i actually don't have a lip liner i'm so mad at myself i forgot to buy lip liner but i do have here one of the new liquid lipsticks they're called the liquid cat suit matte lipstick this one is in the shade goth topic and i feel like i don't know i just really want to go with a really dark lip to go with the really bold eyes usually i'm all for my nude type of lips but i'm trying to step out of my comfort zone so i'm gonna go ahead and apply this okay that's very pigmented and it's really easy to apply it's super opaque and it's not even like streaky i always think it looks so funny when you only do the bottom lip like when i look in the viewfinder <laughs> it looks so weird So this is the finished look you guys. I'm honestly obsessed with how everything turned out and I can't wait to continue to use these products because for only being a few dollars each, they're actually amazing. My only issue was that, yeah, these shadows were amazing, super pigmented, really easy to blend, but my desk is covered with a fair amount of fallout right now like I'm gonna have to clean this up because there's a lot of eyeshadow fallout happening on my desk right now but to be honest I'm not even mad about it because I'm obsessed with the way that this look turned out what I want you guys to do is comment down below and let me know what you thought of the look and also let me know if you want me to do any more of these one brand makeup tutorials because I had so much fun doing it with all of these wet and wild products. I'll also leave a list of all the products that I used down below in the description box. I'll also include like what shades I used and whatnot for the foundation and concealer. And don't forget in the description box, you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys are wanting to catch up with me on Twitter, Instagram or Snapchat, you can find all of that good stuff down below. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you're all having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.